Hey guys, it's Emily here from uh, Tabletop and TTG. Uh, this is a deck profile on Fagberg, tier 0 deck, best deck in format ever. Uh, deserves the shininess. Uh, so I run the Fagberg ride line. I think it's much better than the Zorga ride line. The Zorga draws you more cards, but you have to get an order, otherwise you're discarding two. And I do think that the early game rush of the 10k and 10k, and then you get the two ray guards. Early game is really strong, as it helps you set up for five attacks on your first grade three turn, which is really strong. I really like the uh, Flagberg ride line. I know people don't like it, but I just personally really like it. Obviously, four PG. Then we have two inward shooter because the grade because ascendance assault requires us to reveal Flagberg or inroad. So we can don't have to solve last week's skill, it's really important. And it's just a good 10k and it gets accepted by Vanguard's Flagberg. Uh, free Mantis, it just web place, choose a rear guard, it gets 5k. Helps ascendants hit 15 early on, hits units hit 18, just helps units hit numbers. For Trident, we need this, it's a counter charge into soul, gives us the soul we need, gives us the counter charge we need. We soul blast a lot and we counter blast a lot, so we need it. Five attacks or more, into soul, counter charge. Then we run three ascendant assault, ascendant assault, so that's four in total with the ride deck. If your opponent hasn't killed this by the time you go to grade three, then you have an extra attack with it, so you're essentially running four copies of it. Uh, when your other unit attacks, counter blast, we stand it, so it's really good, it helps you make the five attacks for a counter blast. Then four aggress blue dragon, uh, end of battle attack to rear guard, soul blast one if you vanguard's flagberg, we stand it. So early game if you point rushed you, attack, call this down, attack rear guard, attack vanguard, two attacks, helps you hit the five damage. So for counter blast and soul blast, you can hit five attacks and get five bears to kill off. Best card in deck, uh, inlet pulse, really good card. Um, it's a draw card, goes to soul and attacks twice for soul blast. So it has to attack a great field, greater vanguard, which is its only downside. But it's very strong, helps you hit the five turns tons or more, and it draws your card so it places itself. And with one of the orders I run later on that you'll see, it really helps. It's really good, really good combo. Uh, free flag work. Obviously, we've got the shiny player set. It deserves the SP. Uh, free flag work, flag work, flag work. We like to persona ride, so it's a good card. Get the five attacks, but it has to go with three or more. Really strong. Next, I run some orders, not all of them. It's, a, it's more of a pure build, but I just like these orders in this deck at all, in general. Condensation, Soul Blast, call any card from drop. So you, if you have Inlet Pulse in Soul, you can Soul Blast it out and then call it again uh, from the drop, and it gets 5k, so it's 18k freestanding, really strong. Just a really good card. Uh, you can discard it for my deck. It's not needed, but I just think it's really good just to get your rear guards back, especially if you get a rear tire based deck, which a lot of decks do. I also run one Nectar Sensation. So if every five cards that you drop, you choose a rear guard, and it gets 5k for each five cards that you drop. So if you have 15 in there, it gets plus 15. Again, really good on Flagberg. And if you have 15 or more in the drop, it gets a crit. So late game, you can have Flagberg swinging for 28k, two crit, restanding for 28k, two crit, before your Vanguard attacks and before, and not including like Persona Ride or anything. So if you Persona Rub, that's two 38k attacks, two crit. It's really strong. You only run one of it because it's not always going to come up, but if you do, it comes up and it's really strong. Next, we run four draw triggers because we still want to draw, even though Flagberg draws us a card. Draws are just good. Obviously, the other trigger. Then we run 7 crit, the need to solve crit because we need soul in this deck. And then 4 heals. Very simple uh, setup for Flagberg. We don't reuse fronts because the last attack is always the Vanguard. So we want to draw cards to draw into our pieces and we also want to crit for the opponent. Because if they have to guard with 3 or more, a lot of the times they're not going to guard, especially if they're low damage. So then you just check like 2 crits and then all of a sudden they're taking 3 damage. And then later game, after if you give it 5 attacks a turn with the guarding of 3 or more, it's really strong. And it retires too as well, which is really strong. So retiring your opponent's um, overdress units, uh, boost units, just really good units to retire. So, yep. As I say, Flagberg best deck, tier zero. I'm glad people have started to realise how good it is now, as I've always really liked the deck, and it definitely deserves its spot, its spotlight. I just hope it gets a bit more support in the future. There is a great free promo we're getting, which helps have six attacks a turn, and it's an attack after the Vanguard, which is really important. So anyway, yeah, that's been Emily from Team Tabletop Gaming. Uh, have a nice game.